Hello everybody, it's Gloria, Gigi the Crochet Queen, and I just wanted to come on and show you my small yarn haul that I got from Walmart. It wasn't on sale. I went in there for one thing, and of course I had to go down the yarn aisle. Um, unlike um, other states, our yarn aisle is small, usually doesn't have a great selection, but um, I saw these uh, yarns in there and I just had to come home with them. Um, I love the Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. I love this yarn. They're soft. Um, I love the mix of the um, cotton with this. And I do a lot of halter tops and this is great uh, yarn for halter tops. So. That is one of the reasons I got that. And of course, I had to get two skeins of it. So that's what I'll be doing. And as you know, I am in South Florida, so these will work well. So then I saw these cute um, Kobo uh, skeins in there as well. So I got two of those. And when I feel them, they feel just like the cotton blend but they have a little sheen to them and the cotton blend does not so I'm gonna try and make something with these two and let me see these are three lightweight and there are 232 yards in each skein so that's pretty good I can get um, at least two uh, rock ups out of this <laughs> and these are also a three lightweight and this only 392 yards look at the difference in the size and it's only 130 yards difference wow 130 yards makes a big difference so those um four skeins that i got and I have um, a friend. He is a University of Miami fan big time. And he had asked me to make, he used to play for UM. So, of course, um, he's that makes him even more of a fan. But he'd asked me to make him a mask with those colors. And I could not for the life of me find the dark green cotton yarn. And I searched and searched. I couldn't find it. I did find it on Walmart's site, but I just refused to pay the shipping for it because they didn't have it in the store. And my, I sent my daughter searching for it, and she went to two different Walmarts, and nobody had it. So when I went into this Walmart, lo and behold, there were two skeins of it. Although I've already made him his mask, I picked these up anyway because I too am a big UM fan. So these are peaches and cream. They are for medium and they are, let me see, four ply, uh, approximately 120 yards in each skein. And these are cotton yarn. So I'm glad I did find them this time around. I had to, the yarn that I actually used for his, I had to order it from Joanne and do a pickup because at that time they weren't, that at least that location was not allowing customers in. So you had to do curbside pickup and it was stretchy um, cotton yarn. So I had to really work on making his uh, mask um where it wasn't going to stretch out. Uh, so, But he was happy with it, so that made me happy. So those are my little, that was my little haul from Walmart. Not as if I needed any more yarn, but I was happy to get these because I do love the um, Comfy Cotton Blend. And then I was going back and forth if I wanted to open an Etsy shop. Um, because I do crochet a lot and a lot of the, my items are just sitting around collecting dust. 
and um, I do, I have started my sister, um, one of my sisters, she lives in Georgia. So uh, last year, last year, did I do it the year before? I think I did it last year and the year before. I packed up a lot of hats and um, scarves and things like that that I had crocheted and sent them to her for her um she works at a um, nursing facility and she could give them out to um, the people in the nursing facility. So that's what I did with a lot of my hats and scarves for the past couple of years. And I still plan to do that again this year. So I was listening to a lot of my YouTube um, people that I follow and they all, a lot of them have Etsy shops. So I decided I was going to do a little research, see how much it costs to um, do um, a shop and if it would be worth it and I took the plunge and yes I started my Etsy shop uh, today and my daughter helped me list some items um, hopefully it will be something that I can make some money if not um, at least I have a place I can post just in case who knows someone might be looking for something that I post so that was the other thing. And I forgot that scarf back there. That was one of the things that I also finished. Just a chain starch. I mean, a chain stitch scarf. And um, Claudette crochet. Um, I followed her um, crochet pattern um, for that. I love that. Um, it's, it makes it really soft. And um, uh, it's a fluffy, soft um, kind of stitch. Um, but um, you can always look up her pattern um, for that scarf. I'm going to do a bigger one. That's a small one. I just had a skein of uh, gray yarn sitting around. It kept looking at me and I kept looking at it. And so I said, hmm, I need to do something with this. And so that's what I did with it. And I that was the first thought that came to my mind. This will probably look really nice in a crochet chain stitch. Uh, let me give you a closer look on of it. Okay, so now you can see that chain stitch. It's very, very, very pretty. I love it. And it's an easy stitch to do. And all you're doing is making single crochets into that third loop. So if you look at your V stitch, which is your chain, and you flip it over, there's a so this is the V, and if you flip it over, there's a third one down there. So that's where you're working into, and that gives you this pattern. So I want to make a bigger one. I don't need it, but I want to make a bigger one. Um, starting in the fall, probably the end of August, I'll start making some more. But I... Just wanted to come on and show you my little haul and to just give you an update. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and give me a thumbs up on this uh, video and comment. I love reading your comments and also um, share if you can. So until my next video, stay safe, keep crocheting. Bye-bye.